Welcome, friends. What if I told you that the next global tech revolution isn't brewing in Silicon Valley or Shanghai? It's unfolding right now, across the vibrant landscapes of Africa. A continent once labeled the hopeless continent by Western media is today rewriting its narrative through sheer ingenuity, proving that innovation thrives where necessity meets audacity. From AI-powered tools preserving indigenous languages to drones guarding endangered wildlife, Africa isn't just catching up, it's pioneering solutions the world desperately needs. As we count down the top 10 innovations set to redefine Africa by 2025, prepare to rethink everything you know about this continent's potential. And to my incredible subscribers and members, your support through super thanks, comments, and shares fuels this mission to amplify Africa's stories. Let's dive into the future, one groundbreaking idea at a time. 10. Lexi Genius. Nigeria. Technology. Let's kick off with a quiet revolution in communication. Imagine an AI tool that doesn't just correct your grammar, but bridges linguistic divides across 2,000 plus African languages. LexiGenius, developed by Nigerian innovator Olatunbosin Amau, does exactly that. Launched in 2023, this web-based assistant offers real-time writing support in Arabic, French, Swahili, and even lesser spoken dialects like Yoruba and Hausa. For students in multilingual nations, it's a lifeline, translating complex academic jargon into local tongues, preserving oral traditions in written form, and democratizing access to global knowledge. But here's the twist. LexiGenius isn't just for elites. Amao's team is collaborating with rural NGOs to develop offline versions, ensuring kids in Mali's desert schools or Uganda's mountain villages can harness its power without stable internet. The challenge? Africa's digital literacy gap. Yet if LexiGenius succeeds, it could unify a linguistically fragmented continent, turning lost in translation into found in innovation. 9. Maxit, France, Africa, ICT. France's Orange Telecom might seem an unlikely ally for Africa's digital rise, but Maxit, a super app built by Africans for Africans, is shattering stereotypes. Think WhatsApp meets Alibaba with a twist. Offline functionality. Launched in late 2023 across Botswana, Senegal, and Mali, Maxit merges mobile money, e-commerce, and streaming services into one interface. A farmer in Burkina Faso can sell maize via live video, receive payment via orange money, and order fertilizer, all without switching apps. But the real magic lies in its hyper-localized approach. In Cameroon, Maxit integrates Anjangi, traditional savings circles, into its financial tools, while in Mali, it partners with griots, storytellers, to stream oral histories. Critics argue it's a colonialist Trojan horse, but Orange's African-led dev teams insist this is Africa's digital sovereignty in action. By 2025, Maxit aims to reach 50 million users. The hurdle? Convincing cash-reliant populations to trust digital wallets, a battle where culture and tech must shake hands. 8. Shepherd Fifth One, Botswana. Engineering. Botswana isn't just about diamonds and deserts anymore. Meet Shepherd Fief One, Africa's first locally designed surveillance drone, engineered to combat rhino poaching in the Okavango Delta. Built by Aeronautical Solutions BW, this UAV uses thermal imaging to track poachers under cover of darkness. But that's just the start. What makes Shepherd revolutionary isn't its tech, it's its DNA. Unlike imported drones that crumble in Botswana's dust storms, Shepard's parts are 3D printed locally, tailored to withstand harsh climates. Even its software is coded in Setswana, enabling rangers with minimal tech training to operate it. The ripple effect? Botswana's innovation hub is training teens from mound slums to assemble drones, creating jobs while saving wildlife. By 2025, Shepard's blueprints could be adapted for malaria prevention, spraying mosquito nests, or disaster relief. 
proving that homegrown solutions often outshine foreign imports. 7. Flood Risk Insurance Product, Pan-Africa, Environment Climate Change Isn't Coming, It's Here. In 2023 alone, Cyclone Freddy displaced 500,000 Malawians, while Nigeria's floods drowned 40% of its rice harvest. Enter the Flood Risk Insurance Product, a lifeline engineered by Johannesburg's African Risk Capacity Group. Unlike traditional insurance, which drowns claimants in paperwork, this parametric model uses satellite data to trigger automatic payouts within 48 hours of a flood. Here's the kicker. Premiums are calculated using AI that factors in village topography, soil health, and even local deforestation rates. Piloted in Madagascar and Mozambique, the tool has already slashed post-disaster loan defaults by 70%. But its true genius? It's funded by African nations, not foreign donors. By 2025, this could birth a Continental Climate Resilience Fund, a bold middle finger to the Africa as victim narrative. 6. Basigo, Kenya. Transportation. Nairobi's traffic isn't just a headache. It's a death trap. With 80% of the city's air pollution linked to diesel buses, Kenyan startup Basigo is flipping the script. Their secret? Africa's first publicly accessible electric bus charging stations, powered by Kenya's geothermal energy. For just 12 cents per kilometer, half the cost of diesel, drivers can juice up in 30 minutes. But Basigo's real innovation is its pay-as-you-drive battery leasing model, slashing upfront costs for operators. Early results? 50 electric buses now ply Nairobi's routes, saving 1,200 tons of CO2 annually. By 2025, Basigo plans to deploy 1,000 buses across Rwanda and Uganda. The roadblock? Import taxes on lithium batteries, a policy hurdle that's testing Kenya's green ambitions. 5. Flexi Gin, South Africa, Healthcare. Let's talk about a taboo, women's health. In rural South Africa, cervical cancer kills 12,000 women yearly, not due to lack of care, but because clinics lack 50,000 Colpos copy machines. Enter FlexiGin, a portable gyno device that fits in a backpack. Co-invented by engineer Edmund Wessels, these 500 tools has a bendable camera, LED light, and offline AI that flags precancerous lesions in real time. Nurses in Eastern Cape villages now conduct screenings in schools, churches, and even under baobab trees. But FlexiGin's 2025 vision goes further. Its app connects remote health workers to specialists in Cape Town via blockchain-secured data sharing. For millions of women, this isn't just health care, it's dignity. 4. Discovery Green, South Africa. Energy load shedding, South Africa's euphemism for daily blackouts, has shaved $50 billion off its GDP since 2020. Discovery's answer? Discovery Green, a peer-to-peer -peer solar energy marketplace. Here's how it works. Businesses with rooftop solar panels, think, shopping malls, factories, can sell excess power to neighboring schools or clinics via a blockchain platform. By 2026, Discovery aims to connect 5,000 businesses, generating one gigawatt of decentralized energy, enough to power Durban. But the real disruption is financial. Participants earn carbon credits tradable on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, turning sunlight into stock portfolios. Critics call it green neoliberalism, but for townships drowning in darkness, it's a flicker of hope. 3. Smart Uni, Tanzania. Education. Tanzania's universities have a dropout crisis. 60% of students quit by year two, crushed by textbook costs and chaotic schedules. Smart Uni, a homegrown app by Tanzanian coder Pilika Moamsaku, is flipping the script. This platform digitizes everything, lecture notes, exam timetables, even library queues, into a free data light app. At the University of Dar es Salaam, Smart Uni has slashed dropout rates by 30%, but its 2025 moonshot is bigger. 
partnering with Starlink to beam lectures to Maasai herders via satellite. The catch? Tanzania's 18% smartphone penetration rate. Mwamsaku's counterpunch, Smart Uni Lite, a USSD version accessible on $10 Nokia bricks. Education revolution, more like evolution. Two, Conga TV, Nigeria. Business move over, Amazon. Nigeria's Conga TV is blending TikTok vibes with eBay functionality. Launched in 2023, this 24-7 live shopping channel lets vendors hawk goods via infomercials, comedy skits, or Afrobeats concerts. A Lagos chef can auction Jollof rice recipes while a Kano tailor models Ankara dresses, all in real time. But Conga's genius is its payment system. Viewers click a QR code on screen to buy items via Nigeria's booming mobile money ecosystem. Early results? 10,000 sellers joined in month one, with $2 million in sales. By 2025, Conga TV plans to expand to Ghana and Kenya. But its true legacy may be birthing Africa's first homegrown e-commerce unicorn. 1. Kraken, Nigeria. Agriculture. And here we are the innovation that could feed a continent. Nigeria's Kraken isn't a machine, it's a movement. Built by Agritech startup Relief, this solar-powered palm nut desheller does in eight hours what takes manual laborers three weeks. But Kraken's real power lies in its data ecosystem. Using geospatial app site, Relief identifies fallow farmland, trains farmers via WhatsApp, and buys their harvests at fair prices via salt a real-time pricing tool. The result? A 300% income boost for 5,000 smallholders in 2023. By 2025, Kraken aims to process 1 million tons of nuts yearly, slashing Nigeria's $500 million palm oil import bill. But the stakes are higher. With 60% of Africa's arable land lying dormant, Kraken's model could turn subsistence farmers into agripreneurs and silence the ghost of colonial crop exploitation. To my amazing community, we've journeyed from AI classrooms to solar-powered streets, but none of this storytelling happens without you. If these innovations inspired you, consider hitting the Super Thanks button. It directly supports our work to spotlight Africa's unsung pioneers. Share this video with someone who still sees Africa through yesterday's lens. Africa's 2025 blueprint isn't about copying the West, it's about rewriting the rules. These innovations share a common thread, thereby Africans for Africans leveraging local wisdom to crack global challenges. But let's be clear, the path ahead is steep. From dodgy power grids to kleptocratic regimes, innovators are dancing through minefields. Yet, as Conga TV turns sellers into stars and Kraken turns farmers into tycoons, one truth emerges. Africa's future isn't in the hands of donors or diplomats. It's in the calloused hands of its inventors, its hustlers, its dreamers. And that, friends, is a story worth betting on. What's your take? Could Africa's innovations reshape the world? Drop a comment, smash like, and let's keep this conversation charged. Until next time, stay curious, stay bold.